Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's vi video, it is another craft update. It is craft update number 16. That's my dog. His collar is jingling, but anyway. I've had quite a few orders come in. So, I so in this vi in this update, I'm going to be sharing with you what all orders I have made. I still have quite a bit of orders. I've ranked in so many orders that I've actually had to close <laughs> custom orders until I can get caught up. But anyway, um, give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying these craft updates and you want to see more. Leave, leave a comment down below telling me which which one was your favorite? And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you'll never miss any more craft updates on my channel. And go ahead and turn that bell icon so that way you will get notified when a new video is uploaded. So without further ado, let's get on to see the goodies. Good morning. I am back with another order. Um this one is for Rachel Y. She is the one who ordered that dark purple unicorn with pink and turquoise curls and that blue, dark blue space bunny. I'll insert those pictures here. And they are listed on my Instagram account, which you can come follow me at Knits and Knots underscore KB. And you can come and like my Facebook page at Knits and Knots. But anyway, she placed an order for the third time. Thank you so much, Rachel. It means a lot. But this time, she this is what she ordered. She ordered a red dragon with yellow flame. And this is my very first attempt at making a dragon, and I am more than impressed with how it came out. <laughs> so, in close up, we got, I did variations of red. So, I have like a medium colored red, which I use all the time. And then we have like a bright red. It's kind of hard to tell between these two, but yeah, that's a bright red. And then this is like a maroon, darkish red burgundy color. But here are the ears. These are the eyelids, and of course you got the eyes. Here are the arms and the little toes. You got the legs here and the little toes. And then the spikes run all the way down at the back, all the way to the tail. Which here's here's the tail. And when you look at it from the side, you can see the, oops, you can see the flame coming out of its mouth. So this is the mouth part, and then here's the flame. And what I did was take stra strands of yarn and kind of linked it, linked it through the stitches. And then I took a pet brush and brushed it all out to make it all fluffy and more realistic. And then we kind of trimmed it to make it kind of look like more actual flame but there's the side the tail and like I said the spikes run all the way down at the back of it to the tail and then there's that side And we're back to the front. So thank you so much to you, Rachel, for ordering for the third time. It is so much appreciated because it really means that you love my work. And I'm going to be giving this to my mom so she can take give it to you when she goes to work tomorrow. So I, I hope you love it have another order and this one is for Lisa S. She is, her and her husband are really good f friends with my mom and my granny because uh, Lisa ordered a unicorn and she, I asked her if she was 
specific on the curl colors for the curls and she just said to she just said to use bright colors so it's just like all the other unicorns the head of course the pink hoofs and the gold horn and um for the curls on this one we went with rainbow but we did just bright colors so we got the hot pink a bright orange the bright yellow a kind of a brightish lime green kind of like a turquoise bright blue and then the dark bright purple so So there we go, and thank you so much to you, Lisa, for ordering the unicorn. I can't wait for you to see it. Hello, I am back with another order. And this order is for Sunny M. And she messages me on my Facebook page and asks me if I can make some dishcloths. And I've never done it before. And she sent me some images. But anyway, she asked me if I could make those images into dishcloths. So, this was my first attempt. And I am more than impressed with how they turned out. Um, this one, her daughter Maggie has a business called 3M Design. And her logo has a tiger. And then it has her logo name at the bottom but I wasn't able to put like the logo name in there because of how small it would be because these are small stitches but um so I just did the tiger and these are the eyes right here and uh, it's just like the colors in her logo and these are done with the corner to corner method using half double crochets and this one is the Texas Tech logo which is a college in Lubbock Texas this is an image of a dog for one of our friends there's this I'll have to I don't know the name of the dog at the top of my head so I have to put that in the right here somewhere but anyway it is that image of that dog and this is the tongue just so you know and then this one is a her son Baron is playing football plays football and his jersey number is number one so this is a number one and this is a Texas Tech helmet and so she so I made it the Texas Tech helmet and I put his number there. I'm more than impressed with how they turned out. Um, anyway, thank you so much to you, Sunny, for ordering. And I cannot wait for you to see them. You are my first customer who has ordered this kind of product. Hello. I have two more little no cuties um as you know father's day is this weekend and so i made two father's day gifts um this little one right here is for my dad and it is a crocheted fire truck so you have wheels here and there's the ladder and I did a fire truck because he is a fireman. So I wanted to do something with like fire, firefighter, fireman related. So I found this cute little pattern on Etsy.com. So I made him a little fire truck. So that is for my dad and for my grandfather. He is a huge Texas Longhorn fan. So, this is the most cutest thing ever. I made him a Texas Longhorn. Yes, it is a Texas Longhorn. You got the orange for the Texas Longhorn and this 
is made. And then you got the little arms here and this is dark brown for the hoof colors. And then you have the snout here and you have the little ears and the giant horns. That's the overall view. And at the back, you have the cute little tail. So, that is my grandfather's Father's Day gift. And this is my dad's. I am so excited to see the looks on our faces when they get these cute little guys for Father's Day. So, I love you both. Happy Father's Day. This order is for... Heather H. And she is Lisa, Lisa S.'s niece. And if you don't know Lisa, she ordered a unicorn with bright colors as the curls, which I'll insert an image somewhere here. But her niece Heather messaged me on my Facebook page and asked me if I could make whip up a, a cute little animal for her. So the animal of her choice is this cute little elephant. I am obsessed with these elephants. I love elephants and this is just so cute. It just reminds me of Dumbo. And I loved Dumbo when I was little. But anyway, she asked me if I could make her an elephant for a baby shower gift and so it is completed so I am and she asked her if any specific color and she said oh just like that elephant that you made for Annette so so it's just like the first very elephant that I made for Annette it's all done in gray but Thank you so much to you, Heather, for ordering. Hi guys, I'm here with another order. This one is for Melinda B. Melinda ordered a phone case. And I've never made one before. So here it is. It is for an iPhone 12. And she said light purple and like pastel colors. And she likes purple and pink. So I decided to do purple and like a pastel yellow uh, stripe design. So, and the phone just slips in this little pocket. See down there? It just slips right in that little pocket. And there's the flap. And then on the back of the case, I... And, incorporated the pink yes that's my mom as using a bow so I just put a bow on the back of the phone case to get the pop of pink and to make sure that I got the measurements right I actually ordered like a cheap old phone case from Amazon so I can just make sure that I got it got it the crochet case the right measurements and that way it's easy for the phone to fit in there and then I kind of even made it a little bit bigger than what the actual phone is like just so it has more room in it and it's easier for the phone to be slipped in and pulled out of it so and this is my very first phone case I don't think I'm gonna be doing them very often uh, thank you Melinda for ordering I have an order for Lisa S she ordered a while back she ordered a unicorn with bright colors used as for the curls and then just last week she messages me and asked me if I can make her another one just like it because she's gonna ship this one to Missouri on the 17th so here's the unicorn and it's just like the other one with the bright curls. So pink, blue, orange, 
neon green, dark purple, and then we have yellow here. So there's the other unicorn. Thank you for ordering, Lisa. And I'll be sending it with my mom to work tomorrow. And then I have another order for Sunny M. She's the one who ordered those four crocheted dishcloths that I've already shown. And so I, she then asked me if I could make her one more white dog and one more Texas Tech logo. So there's here's the white dog and that's the tongue, the ears, and here's the Texas Tech logo. And they just got a plain backing. Uh, thank you, Sunny, for ordering again. And I hope you love them. That is it for this craft update. I hope you enjoyed it. I love showing what all everybody orders. Again, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more. And go ahead and hit that red subscribe button while you're at it so you can be part of the family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.